It was considered the most hazardous train crash in Ohio history. 38 cars carrying toxic chemicals derailed, sending a thick plume of smoke into the sky and striking fear into the small village of East Palestine. Now, more than a year later, Norfolk Southern, the company responsible for the freight train, announced a settlement. $600 million to resolve all class action claims within a 20-mile radius from the derailment. The statement adding for those residents who choose to participate, personal injury claims within a 10-mile radius. But some residents in East Palestine today say they're frustrated. We need to know. We, we don't know what the long-term effects are. We first met Melissa Boyer days after the crash. Literally lit it up back here. She and her family live half a mile from the derailment site. She says the settlement does little to ease her long-term concerns. We've had more upper respiratory infections, bronchitis. We don't know if we're going to get sick or cancer or anything from this. The monetary is going to be gone. That is a lot of money for a train derailment. Attorney Mark Bryant represents 800 plus East Palestine plaintiffs. He says it's unclear how many claimants will ultimately come forward, but it could be in the thousands. In the statement, the company says the agreement, which has yet to be approved by the court, does not include or constitute any admission of liability, wrongdoing, or fault. Regardless, Boyer says... No money is going to fix this because it's never going to be fixed. It's never going to be the same again. Aaron McLaughlin, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.